you know, this was meant to be the first post-ideological generation, right? This was meant to be the generation that never thought of anything bigger than our Facebook profiles and our TV screens. This was meant to be the generation where the only thing that Saturday night meant was X Factor. I think now that claim is quite ridiculous. I think now that claim is quite ridiculous. I think now we've shown, now we've shown that we are as ideological as ever before. Now we've shown that solidarity and comradeship and all those things that used to be associated with students are as relevant now as they've ever been. We know what they're up to. They think that if they kettle us now, we're not going to come on a demonstration ever again. Well, let the word go out from today, people said. Let the word go out about next Tuesday. Let the word go out about next week and next month and next year that they can't stop us demonstrating. They can't stop us fighting back. And however much they try to imprison us in the streets of London, those are our streets. And we will always be there to demonstrate. We will always be there to fight. People who had, who had always thought that the police were just those people at the other end of the telephone line to help uh, if there was a burglary. People who'd always thought that the media were just those friendly newspaper men who were there to give them that unbalanced picture of the facts. People learned a lot last Wednesday. People learned a lot as they huddled round fires um, and then emerged from that kettle to see headlines like vandals on the evening standard that afternoon. People learned a lot when a police van was left in the middle of the road so that the police could tow it away and, and show the whole public, look what vandals these people are. People learned a lot. So the message that goes out from last Wednesday is very clear. We are no longer that post-ideological generation. We are no longer that generation that doesn't care. We are no longer that generation that's prepared to sit back and take whatever they give us. We are now the generation at the heart of the fight back. We are now the generation that will stand with everyone who's fighting back. The most inspiring thing, I think, was that just after Wednesday, uh, hundreds of people joined a Facebook group, school students joined a Facebook group in solidarity with RMT members on strike. Those are people who previously thought, those are people who previously thought tube strikes were something annoying because they stopped them getting into school. Now they think they've got to link arms and fight back with everyone. So we want to show solidarity with everyone who's fighting back. We hope you'll show solidarity with us and send a strong message to this government that uh, they can't throw their cuts at us. We're going to stand up and we're going to fight back.